Maybe some of you have noticed in recent videos or photos I've shared, but I've been using the X-E4 a lot recently, and I've actually been picking this camera up way more often than my X100V, which if you're a longtime viewer of the channel, you'd know that that's been my go-to camera for street photography. And it's nothing in particular about the X-E4 that I like over the X100V, it's the fact that I can use these two lenses on this camera. This is the Fujifilm XF 35mm f2 and the XF 50mm f2. In 35mm full frame equivalent terms, these both equate to about a 53mm and 76mm. Something wider like a 28mm or a 35mm is usually what you would see used or recommended for street photography. You know, something wide enough that you're going to get a majority of uh, the scene captured. And I felt like this was something I could talk more in depth about, the use of longer focal lengths in street photography, and just talk about my experience shooting with them and how it's sort of changing my entire approach. For quite some time, I've mainly shot with this camera, the X100V. This camera has a fixed 35mm focal length lens on it, and while this is a great lens, it's super versatile for all sorts of subject matter. Lately, I've been feeling like it's a bit too wide for the type of photos I want to take right now. Before you accuse me of anything, it's nothing against this camera. It's probably my favorite camera of all time. Probably if I could just pick one lens to shoot with for the rest of my life, it would be the 35mm focal length, just because it's that versatile, but you know, there comes a point where this focal length can be a bit limiting and I'm sort of experiencing those limitations right now. So I think a lot of people can relate to having COVID-19 impact their photography in some way. You know, as someone who does a lot of street photography, I always looked for where people were. And that's generally where I would go to take photos. Obviously with the pandemic, there were a lot less people out, so it meant taking less photos of people. And so my approach to street photography sort of shifted because of this. I became a lot more focused in small details in my environment and I was finding myself looking in places for photos that I normally wouldn't have. Sort of naturally I was taking less photos of people and more photos of my environment with maybe a human element thrown in here and there. I was still using this camera and lens for this type of you know, new approach, and I definitely felt like I was a bit too wide for a lot of photos I was trying to take. You know, with the pandemic, I was literally had to be far from people. So, you know, I felt like I was just way too far using this lens. I was also cropping my photos a lot and pretty heavily as well, and that's definitely a sign that this focal length was just too wide for the kind of photos I was taking. So when the XC4 came out earlier this year and the homies over at Moment sent me one of these units to review and play around with, I was able to shoot with this lens, the XF 35mm, which is equal to about a 53mm full frame equivalent. And shooting with this lens, it literally felt like I was wearing newly prescribed glasses for like the first time after having never changed my prescription. I was starting to see everything the way I wanted to see it and that was really refreshing um, coming from the 35mm focal length which I was shooting almost exclusively at the time. Going from the 35 to a 53 is a sizable difference in terms of what you're able to work with within your frame. But I found this limitation to be more of an advantage for me because I was already starting to shift to this more environmental abstract approach to street photography. So with less stuff in my frame, that meant I had more control over my image and composition. It was giving me more of a decision in terms of what I could keep in my frame and what to keep out of it. And if you ever struggle with composition using you know, wider focal lengths, you'll find this to be really helpful. Um, I don't want to say it's easier to compose with a longer focal length, but it definitely feels like it. So things are starting to open up and people are out and about now. Um, and, you know, I've been able to shoot with these longer focal lengths in pretty uh, busy environments, such as Coney Island and Santa Monica Pier. 
which I will have a video coming up sooner or later on the channel. And when shooting in these busy environments and photographing people um, on the street with these longer focal lengths, I definitely felt the limitation of, you know, that longer focal length. It took some time to get used to knowing or judging the distance I had to be at um, between me and my subject in order to take the photo because, you know, I don't have as much time or I don't have as much flexibility in the amount of time I have between a person getting close to me and taking the photo. I sort of have to take the photo from a distance in order to get the person or subject in the frame. And sometimes I don't see the subject or moment happen until you know, they're already close to me. And by that time, using these lenses, they're already too close for me to even take a photo. So I have missed a couple photos um, here and there because of that. So these lenses don't really suit that run and gun or fast paced style of shooting. And so, you know, as a result, I've sort of slowed down my approach and I'm definitely taking a lot more time to think about composition. Um, play around with different angles and I spend way more time working a scene than I had with the 35 millimeter focal length And I think that's great for me as a photographer in order to you know grow and get better I'm being more experimental and I'm just having more fun and getting photos that I'm actually really happy about so That's been very fulfilling for me some of you might be wondering if I shoot with the X100V anymore now, and I definitely do. And actually, I feel like I, I'm more appreciative of the 35 millimeter focal length now that I've been shooting a lot with the longer focal lengths. Um, it's a lot more challenging uh, composing in street photography with a 35, especially when you're trying to take those abstract environmental kind of photos. Composition is a lot more difficult, but I'm a lot more appreciative of that challenge and it's something I want to um, take on now, more so than I did before, I guess. I also feel like I'm carrying over that slower pace of shooting and that's been really nice as well. 35 millimeter has always been the king of focal lengths for street photography. It's what a lot of great street photographers of the past and present use for the majority of their work. But that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Literally every other aspect of photography, gear, and the lens you use is completely subjective. At the end of the day, lenses are just like cameras. They're tools and you should use the lens or tool that best suits the style or approach of photography that you have. And as I talked about in this whole entire video, my approach was sort of shifting to this, you know, slower pace, distance, abstract, environmental, however you want to say it, approach to photography. And this lens just wasn't working for me at that time. And so I needed to switch the tool that I was using. You know, as much as we don't want to say gear uh, matters um, in photography, the focal length you use sort of does, um, does dictate the style or approach to photography that you have. So, you know, if you've never tried a longer focal length and you've mostly been a 35 or 28 millimeter shooter, or maybe you're someone who shoots with a longer focal length all the time and you never shoot with a wider focal length, um, definitely try it out. You might learn something along the way. Maybe you can take those things you learned back over to um, shooting with the focal length that you really like. Okay guys, thanks for sticking to the end of this video. You are literally a real one for that. If you wanna share your experience uh, using longer focal lengths, let me know in the comments. Really interested to hear what you guys have to say and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.